Donc, quoi, tu... President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court continues its proceedings. Uh, Today, the chamber continues to hear the remainder testimony of the current witness in relation de, to uh, the Compunchnang Airport worksite. And after that, the government hearing the testimony of another witness, Ensuite, that is TCW 926, in relation to the first January Dam worksite. Ms. T. Zivon, please support the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Graffier. Mr. President, for today's le proceedings, Monsieur le Président, all parties to this case are present. Des Mr. Sont Nunti is present in Monsieur the holding cell downstairs. Est dans la de he he requests to wear his direct presence in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the graffier. Le document de renonciation a bien été remis the witness who is to conclude he, her testimony today, that is Madame Conway, uh, is present and ready in the the courtroom. We also have a reserve witness today. Un témoin de réserve aujourd'hui, le témoin de TCW 926. Ce témoin confirme que, à sa connaissance, il n'a aucun lien de parenté ni d'alliance avec les accusés Nunchia ni son camp, ni avec les parties civiles dans ce dossier. Le témoin prêtera un autre before the Adam Club Stature this morning before he, his commencement of his testimony. Thank you. De Merci. President, thank you. Le and the Chamber now decides on the request la by the accused Nunjir. De the Chamber has received a waiver from the accused Nunjir dated 30th uh, July 2015, which notes that due to his health, namely headache, backache, and that he cannot sit and concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requires to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 30th July 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report on Nunji by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, Uh, that is 30th July 2015, who notes that Nunchi has a back pain de de dos. and when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audio-visual means. The AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow it remotely. That applies for the whole day. The Chamber Now, hands the floor to the defense teams to put the question to this witness. First, Nunchi's defense team is having the floor, and you may proceed, counsel. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Your Honors. Merci, good morning, Council. Good morning, Madam Witness. Tous, uh, bonjour, um, Madame I have a few questions uh, today that I would like to put to you. Je And I um, would like to start with something that you said uh, yesterday uh, morning when you were asked uh, some questions uh, by the President. Um, and I will read this little excerpt from the transcript to you. Um, the President at 11.29 yesterday asked you um, And before you appeared before us, have you reviewed or read the written record of your statement in order to refresh your memory? Um, and then you answered this question from the President. Uh, in fact, my nephew read it aloud to me. 
C'est mon neveu qui me l'a lu à Then the president voix. asked you, le président vous a ensuite and to demandé, your best recollection, does the written record of your statement reflect the words verbal, that you used uh, during your interview with OCIJ investigators at your house? Ce que vous avez dit lors and then de votre rencontre you answered, avec yes, I can, I can recall what I said. Était, then, oui, je the last question from the president, dit, is the written ensuite, record consistent la, with what you told si the OCIJ investigators during your interview? À ce que vous avez dit aux and then you answered, du yes, it is consistent. Madam Witness, when exactly did Madame your témoin, nephew read aloud um, que votre um, your statement to you? Vous a lu Euh, votre déclaration à haute voix. My nephew Réponse. read a statement aloud to me before Mon my appearance uh, yesterday's morning. Le document à haute voix avant ma comparution hier matin. And at the time Question. when he read it to you. Et à ce moment-là, lorsque um, you didn't think, um, il vous l'a lu, there were parts in that statement um, which maybe weren't correct or vous which you maybe remembered differently. Il y avait des éléments de cette déclaration qui étaient incorrects ou dont vous aviez un souvenir différent. I may forget Réponse. some because I cannot remember Il se peut everything. Que oublié My choses. memory is not 100% perfect. Do you recall the interview Question. Um, in uh, 2009? The interview from the uh, taken by the investigator of the office of the investigating judges. Edition en 2009 par l'enquêteur du bureau des co-juges d'instruction. I actually almost forgot what I said. Uh, Yes, it was quite a long time ago when the statement was euh, made. However, it depressed my dit, memory when my nephew read it aloud to me. Voix, and I recall that I was asked to be, uh, et to be uh, summoned uh, to, to appear before this court. And I said that I, I would appear before this court if my health permits. Je, and upon faire, the statement being read aloud to me, me it refreshed uh, my memory. Relu, but ma I cannot recall every point that I said to the OCIJ investigators at the time of the interview. Je ne me pas de tout ce que dit aux um, I understand. Uh, um, but do you remember whether the statement Question, that you gave um, six years ago, uh, whether si that testimony was read out to you? by the investigator, and then after hearing it, uh, you signed it. Do you recall any of that? Est-ce que vous vous rappelez si on vous a relu à l'époque votre déclaration? Est-ce que l'enquêteur vous l'a lu et ensuite vous l'avez signé il y a six ans? I did not uh, review the statement. Réponse. However, I, uh, I told them that I am willing to be a witness if my health permits. Mais je leur ai dit que j'étais prête à comparaître si mon état de santé I understand, uh, Madam Witness, but... Uh, if my understanding is also correctly, you are not able to read and write. Bien, uh, but do you si recall compris, whether the investigator uh, that interviewed you six years ago uh, read vous back to you si what you had vous a uh, stated a to ans, him? Uh, vous a relu, uh, votre à Can you 
nhầm I do not recall Réponse. that. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Um, the reason, uh, Madam Witness, that I'm asking these questions is uh, that there seem to be quite some discrepancies between um, what you testified to yesterday and what you had uh, have stated earlier, six years ago, uh, before the investigator. Um, we have counted about eight uh, examples of possible discrepancies. Nous en avons um, compté environ six would you be able to shed some light on this, or should I, nous um, for instance, point you to one or two examples and then ask your answer? Um, I do not recall every point as I stated earlier, and you can ask me questions on whatever point you wish to, and if I recall it, I will say so. If not, I can tell you that I do not remember. Um, I shall try with one example. Um, um, yesterday, now let me first go to what you said uh, in your statement, um, that is E3 slash 5284. Um, Mr. President, um, Khmer page 0035914, French 0037549, and Khmer 0030464. Um, in your statement to the investigator, you said uh, that while working at Pochentong Airport, uh, you accompanied uh, the Chinese to study um, at Kampong Chang Airport about three times a month. Uh, yesterday, you testified that you never went with the Chinese team and that you only went to Kampong Chang the first time in 1977 for a week to marry your husband. Uh, Mr. President, I would just draw the Chamber's attention to the fact that the witness did testify that she was cooking for Chinese guests at Kampong Chinang Airport for about a week on one occasion. It's not an objection, it's just uh, to remind everyone what her evidence was, that she was at Kampong Chinang Airport and she was cooking for Chinese, so she was there with the Chinese guests at one point. Um, thank you for this observation, um, Mr. Prosecutor. Pour cette observation, um, le is there a discrepancy between the two, or y a um, une am I mistaken? Entre ces deux uh, versions ou pas? I think I already uh, made my Réponse. statement, and I Je cannot recall every point that I told the OCIJ investigators at my home during the interview. Chez moi lors de cette audition. I can not tell you that I didn't stay for long. In, je peux vous uh, dire que Chenin. je ne suis pas resté très longtemps à Kampong uh, J'y suis allé pour me marier. Et ensuite, j'ai fait la cuisine And pendant une semaine Chenin pour eux lors de ma deuxième President, the uh, parties, please uh, try to 
carefully read the transcript and the responses de relire by attentivement the witness, la transcription et les réponses the données par le témoin. Witness, Actually, correct in making her response. And yesterday, uh, Wang Bo, the lawyer for civil hier, parties, also got confused. The statement in the transcript uh, by the witness is that she uh, uh, was with the uh, Chinese guest, and it was the Chinese guest who made a Chinois who made trips to the airport site that is uh, about three times per month. Trois fois par and mois. that she herself uh, went with the Chinese. And it was Et not her who actually uh, went Chinois. to the uh, airport. It was the Chinese team Mais that went to the airport. And that point was not clearly Chinois transmitted. And that, was, uh, that led to uh, the question being asked by the lawyer for civil parties who went both yesterday. Um, let me try another example then. Um, Maître Copé, je vais essayer de trouver un autre exemple, um, Monsieur le Président. In your statement to the investigators, you said that you uh, overheard uh, the talks of airport leaders, senior leaders such as uh, Lovey and Tuk. Yesterday, I believe, you said that you minded your own business Hier, and that you tried not to listen to what others were saying. Que de vos et que vous um, so my question que is, did you overhear the talks voilà, of question, the leaders donc, at the Kampong Chan Airport site, or didn't you, and were you just minding your own business? Ou bien, euh, non, et, as, et vous ne faisiez que vous occuper de vos propres affaires. While I was uh, cooking for them, Réponse. they were speaking Alors amongst themselves about the work plan, but I did not pay attention to that. De travail, mais je pas attention. I only knew that they were talking about uh, the work plan for je the airport website. Du plan de travail pour le site de travail de l'aéroport de Campanchon. Um, one last example and then I will move on. Question. Un autre um, exemple Madam Witness, avant de passer yesterday you were, asked, Madame le you témoin. were asked questions about Hier, um, alleged au sujet uh, suicides at Campanchon Airport. Suicide à l'aéroport de Campanchon. Uh, yesterday Hier, you gave two possible examples. Vous avez cité deux um, exemples however, possibles. Uh, in your statement to the investigators or the investigating judge, you said that suicide by running uh, under the wheels of, of trucks took place, quote unquote, very often. Uh, où les gens se jetaient um, sous les roues des camions, se produisaient, je cite, Is your testimony souvent. from yesterday correct, or is Donc, what you said to the investigator correct? correct votre témoignage d'hier ou bien ce que vous avez déclaré aux enquêteurs I did not know about the réponse. very often the suicide Je ne sais pas si I knew there was one case that a man ran into a truck and killed himself un homme qui s'est jeté sous un camion pour se tuer Thank you, uh, Madam Witness. I will move on Maître now Coupé, to some remercie, other questions. Je vais passer à questions. Um, yesterday, uh, you also gave testimony Hier, about your missing husband. Vous nous avez parlé de uh, votre Laut mari is his name, I understand. Disparu, qui Laut. Um, is it possible that he was um, a commanding officer in uh, the handicap unit of Division 502. Était dans des handicapés de la Division 502? I do not know about Réponse. his real uh, position. 
However, I heard that people were saying that he came from the Children Handicap Unit. De l'unité des handicapés. Um, but do you recall whether he had a rank, whether he was handicapés. a commander? Question, savez-vous s'il occupait uh, un rang particulier? Était-il gradé? Était-il commandant? I knew that he Réponse. had a supervisory role. Though I do not know his actual rank or position. Uh, uh, um, do you know whether he was a member of the handicap unit? Um, because he was. Because he had been wounded uh, in the war. Après avoir été blessé pendant la guerre. He, he wounded his leg, and that's what I, I could observe. Sa jambe était blessée, c'est ce que j'ai pu observer. And did he tell you that he was Et injured dit avait été um, blessé during battle? Um, en livrant bataille. Yes, how, how did it come about? Si did he oui, tell you that? Comment cela s'est-il produit? Vous l'a-t-il expliqué? I do not remember that. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. I did not know whether I asked that question or not. Je ne sais pas si je lui ai posé cette question ou pas. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I only knew that he was injured in a battlefield. Ce que je sais, c'est qu'il avait été blessé sur le champ de bataille. Although I do not know which battlefield he was injured in, he was from Division 11. Il venait de la Division 11. And was that division part of the Southwest Zone Forces? Do you know that? De la zone sud-ouest, le savez-vous? Answer: I do not know about that. I do not know whether Division 11 was from Southwest Zone, and I myself do not know where Southwest Zone was. Je ne sais pas où se situe la zone sud-ouest. Are you saying that you had no idea where the southwest zone was? Is, is that my understanding? Answer. That is correct. I also I also did not know whether Division 11 was part of uh, Southwest Zone. Um, I will return to your husband, but I'll make a sidestep um, to the Southwest Zone. Um, you said on, in the very first answer to the question um, to the investigators um, that, and I quote, before 17 April 75, I was a soldier in Battalion 304 of Division 502 under the command of Con in the southwest based in Samrong Kampung Spu. And at the end of that same answer, you said, I knew that Tamok was in charge of the southwest. Um, can you explain that to me, please?
ยมอันสูอันเสิร์ I only know that uh, he uh, was uh, within the southwest zone, and I myself uh, do not know how many divisions that there were in the, the southwest zone. I knew that uh, division 502 was part of the southwest zone. People said that he was in charge of the southwest. Uh, very well, Madam Witness, I will move on again to, to your husband. Um, yesterday you said that you were required, required quote unquote, uh, to marry uh, Laud, who became your husband. Um, and that. If I understand your testimony correctly, the marriage wasn't consensual. Um, do you remember who asked you um, to marry uh, Laut? Who was it and what did he say? Answer, I had no choice back then. I said that I would follow Anka no matter what the decision from Anka was. I had no choice. I would follow Anka. Um, I understand, Madam Witness, but do you recall who it was that asked you um, to marry Laut and whether he or she what, what, and whether he or she said something uh, when he uh, required this? Do you remember anything of that conversation? Got the answer. Réponse. I cannot recall his name. Je ne me souviens pas de son Perhaps nom. Mouse. It is in the. I cannot think of it. Je, je pas à he said that uh, Anka required Il me to marry a man at Kampong Chang. Airport work site. I was told that uh, at 5 a.m. in the morning I had to be ready and went to Kampung Chenang. I did not know the proposed man of the pro my future husband at that time, and I only learned of his name when the, I met him at the wedding. I had never mariage. seen him before Je that time. Um, do you remember whether the person Question. who vous asked you uh, to marry Lau uh, said anything um, about his uh, Injury uh, from the battlefield. De sa blessure infligée sur le champ de bataille. Answer. Réponse. He did not tell me at that time. Et ne m'a rien dit He à cette époque-là. Il m'a his name loud and he said that loud. he was uh, based in Kampung Chenang. Um, thank you, Madam Witness. I will move on to the next remercie, question. Madame, uh, um, in your statement to the investigators, you said um, dit, that you at one point in time joined the National Salvation Front. Do you recall why it was that you joined the National Salvation Front? Thank 
Answer. I was stationed in the, a base area at that time. I was uh, stationed in my village and commune. Cat rays came to villages and commune and encouraged women to join a study session that there was a coup against uh, the late king. And we were in told that Lunar regime was report, uh, supported by Americans, Americans and Turkey Vietnamese. And uh, they encourage us to join the National Salvation Front. I was introduced by cadres at a village or commune level. After I learned about this, I made a decision that I had to join uh, the France to liberate the country. Back then, people loved the Lat King. For this reason, everyone uh, volunteered to liberate the country. Um, in your written record of um, interview, um, you were asked that same question as well. Um, it's the second question um, in this document. And you said to the investigators, at that time there was a movement in the countryside among the people in order to save the country from the oppression of the capitalists and feudalists who were exploiting the poor. Um, do you remember saying that to the investigators? Answer. I could recall Réponse. it. At that time, I joined the front and committed to follow uh, the je line of the front. Du front. I was trained by a uh, cadres in the commune and, and local areas. Et dans les environs. Um, do you recall Question. what you meant when you said that um, the capitalists and the feudalists vous were oppressing vous and exploiting the poor? Vous avez, vous avez dit que les capitalistes et les féodaux opprimaient les paysans pauvres. Yeah. Answer. In my opinion at the time, Réponse. À capitalist, capitalists were the rich and powerful to my understanding, and uh, they oppressed us, and they did not let us to have any freedom or to have the right of uh, association, and uh, they prevented us le, from uh, doing living. Um, thank you, madam, for that uh, explanation. I would like now to move on to um, the Kampong Chinam airfield itself. Uh, yesterday, you were asked questions about um, the military or, and the, or the soldiers that you saw working at the airfield site. Um, do you recall, you were asked the question, but I, I, I will ask it in general terms first. Do you recall uh, where the various divisions um, from, uh, were coming from, from which parts of the country?
cha nhom answer I heard him say or my colleagues say that they were from the east this is uh, all what I know. They were from the east or the southwest. Um, thank you, Madam Witness. In your statement, you um, answered that there were two divisions from the east, one division from the north, and two divisions from the southwest. Could that be correct as well? Est-ce également exact? Yeah. Answer. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. This is my understanding. C'est ce que j'ai compris. Do you remember the numbers of these divisions? Um, you yourself were from Division 502, um, but do you remember the, the numbers of the two divisions from the East? Answer, I do not know about the figure. Je I was there for a short period of time, étais pendant une brève période. and my uh, work colleague in the rice field Et mes collègues said dans about the figure, but I could not recall it. Les chiffres, mais je ne what pas. I know is that uh, there were uh, different uh, people from different divisions are working in that site. And do you, do you remember whether um, the soldiers belonging, um, the number of the soldiers belonging to the divisions from the southwest, southwest um, whether that number was the same or roughly the same as uh, the soldiers that were coming from the two divisions from the east? In other words, are you able to tell so many soldiers from the east, so many soldiers from the north, and so many soldiers from the southwest? Answer. In my analysis, and in my opinion, there were many soldiers from the north and uh, the east. There were not so many soldiers in the Division 502 working at the, the work site. Um, yesterday you um, testified that you um, saw, quote unquote, many people in military uniforms. Um, were you able to make a distinction distinction? on the basis of your recognition of uniforms, uh, whether soldiers were coming from the east zone, the north zone, si um, or the southwest zone. De la zone sud nord ou est, en fonction de leur uniforme? Yeah. Answer. Réponse. Soldiers had the same uh, uniform. Les soldats avaient le même uniform. However, people who were working Cependant, with the Chinese wore different uniforms uh, 
namely uh, those who install the electrical wire or those who do other type of work had a different clothes to wear. But to me, soldiers had the same military uniform. So just to be sure, all the military that you saw, they were all wearing the same uniform. Um, the same would apply to soldiers from the east zone, the north zone, and the southwest zone. Is that correct? Même pour les soldats de la zone est, nord ou sud-ouest. Est-ce exact? Cha cha men hai. Answer: Yes, that is true. They had the same uh, uniforms to wear. Were there also soldiers wearing uh, green uniforms rather than black uniforms? No. Um, yesterday, you confirmed something that you had also said um, to the investigators that um, forces from the or the military from the east who were working at the site um, were from a, a, a division or a unit where from which the chief was removed. Do you remember the name of the chief of these East Zone forces that was removed? Answer. I do not know their names. Je ne connais pas leur nom. And uh, I do not have the full knowledge. Et Upon my arrival, Lorsque je suis arrivé, I noticed only the presence of a low-ranking soldiers. Y avait and soldiers from a division of 502 were assigned to be in charge of other working men. And uh, Division 502 let uh, the uh, working forces and they receive instruction les gens de la division from the Chinese. Les As I told the court Chinois, already, I was there working for a là, brief period of time only. And do you know whether the reason that Division 502 um, soldiers were in charge Pourquoi was because Division 502 si uh, was also known as the Air Force. Les gens de la division 502 étaient responsables. C'était parce que la division 502 était également connue sous le nom de forces aériennes. Yeah. Answer. Yes. Réponse. Oui. Dame. It is true. C'est exact. Um, when you were sent to work at the rice fields close to Kampong Chang Airfield, um, was that because you were a soldier belonging to Division 502 um, that the instruction to work there was within uh, the realm of your um, normal duties as a 502 Division soldier? Est-ce que cette instruction était due au fait que cela, que vous, que cela faisait partie de votre devoir en tant que soldat de la division 502 Answer. Back then, I learned all Réponse. the matters from he à l'époque, j'apprenais ces questions de tour. At, uh, 
at Old Bike Om and uh, told me to Et go je and uh, do the rice farming at the work, that work site. But when he travail. instructed Question. or ordered you to do that, um, was that a, uh, a normal military order uh, ordre uh, as any other orders that you would regularly receive as a soldier? President, please wait, Madame Witness. You have the floor. The co-lawyer for civil parties. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Une, une courte remarque. Thank you, President. I have a brief je parle sous le contrôle de la Chambre et des partis parce que je n'ai pas relu les transcripts um, avant the le début transcript de l'audience et so je suis simplement en train de lire mes notes. Mais il me semble que le témoin était très clair hier sur le fait qu'elle avait été envoyée à Kampongchnang Airport comme une forme de punition et que donc on est complètement en contradiction avec ce qu'a dit le témoin hier. Les questions de notre confrère me semblent particulièrement orientées. Et je lui demanderai simplement de reformuler de manière beaucoup plus large parce qu'il me semble qu'on est en parfaite contradiction avec ce qu'a dit le témoin hier. Leading in nature, and uh, I think there's a complete contradiction with what was stated yesterday. By the Thank you. President, Judge Lavain, you may now proceed. Mr. Cooper, could you tell us what is an ordinary or regular military order? Is there a difference between an extraordinary military order? What exactly do you have in mind? Uh, there are uh, many kinds of. A normal military orders. Um, I think an, an average soldier, also in peacetime, uh, in every country, would get uh, many orders per day, meaning um, go to the shooting range, um, do this, do that. Um, the same, of course, applies to the soldiers working within Division 502. Um, and to reply to uh, the civil party lawyers, uh, one not necess doesn't necessarily exclude the other. It can be a military order at the one hand uh, and some form of punishment uh, on the other hand. It's still a military order. Um, so um, I think I'm entitled to ask that question. There's not necessarily, from a military law perspective, a discrepancy between the two. President, Mr. Copper, you Mr. may Copper. resume your line of questioning. You may repress your Veuillez last question you put to this witness. Reformuler la question que vous avez posée au témoin. Repress or repeat? repeat? I heard repress. Maître Copper, j'ai entendu réprimer. Correct from interpreter, rephrase. Rephrase. Reformuler. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Madam. Uh, witness, when you um, were ordered or instructed by your superior commander to go to Kampong Chinam Airfield, um, was that a, a military order um, as you would receive normally or as you would have received prior uh, to uh, your mission of going to Kampong Chinam Airfield? Answer. I did not pay any attention at that time. I only knew that I 
was no longer a soldier. Tout ce que je I savais, c'est que je n'étais plus soldat. In a female unit. On m'a placé au sein d'une unité de femmes. To uh, that worksite, I was told to pack sur, my belongings so that I could go and work in the rice field. I had to go. Pour aller travailler dans la rizière et je devais y aller. What do you mean when you said that you were not longer a soldier? I'm que not sure if I understand. Maybe something in the translation. But can you explain what you mean with that? Bien compris. Peut-être c'est une, est une peut-être est une question de traduction. Mais pourriez-vous être plus explicite? Answer. After I had married. My husband and my après husband disappeared. I stopped working with the Chinese as a cook. Avec les Chinois I was reassigned cuisine. to do the rice on farming. Et on m'a demandé d'aller m'occuper de la riziculture. At Oh my home. Oh, I, home, one day at, I was jour, told to pack my belongings to work in the Kampung Snang work site. So I was thinking that I was deprived de of uh, the status Donc, of a soldier. I was required to work as an ordinary worker doing the rice farming. I think I understand your answer now, um, défense, but were you officially dismissed as a mais, soldier? Um, did you have an, a, a, a letter, for instance, or an official notification that you were not longer a soldier lettre, of 502? Vous annonçant que vous n'étiez plus soldat membre de la division 502? Answer. No. No réponse. official or former letter. Non, je n'ai pas reçu de lettre officielle. But my rights and status as a soldier Mais was removed. I retiré mes droits stop uh, being a cook for the Chinese and I realized that uh, je de préparer I, à manger uh, pour no les Chinois a soldier because et je me suis rendu compte que je n'étais plus militaire no quand on m'a privé de ce statut. Je n'ai pas reçu de lettre officielle. I was uh, reassigned to do the rice farming at Kampung Chinang. When you were done with the, the rice farming uh, at Kampung Chinang, what did you do then? Vous avez uh, terminé ce travail de riziculture à Kampung Chinang. Qu'avez-vous fait après? After I worked Réponse. in the paddy field, I worked with other older, uh, older women to, rizières, to produce fertilizers. Avec, uh, âgées, that's what, uh, pour faire de that's the instruction I received from the superior, that is to cut, clean, cut trees, faire, leaves in the morning and we cut them into pieces in the afternoon to make fertilizer for the rice field. And that happened at the location to the south of the Pratiet Pagoda. Where were you uh, when you heard the gunshots from the Vietnamese invading uh, the country? Pendant, lorsque les Vietnamiens ont envahi le pays, rappelez-vous où vous étiez. We were very afraid, and the situation was chaotic throughout the airport. Some women had to deliver their babies on the track. We, everyone tries to board a track 
Oh, pardon, sur les camions, sur le And we were so afraid that uh, we thought we camions. could not uh, survive. Nous... Did you jump on a military truck um, when you were escaping for the Vietnamese? Êtes-vous monté sur un camion militaire pour vous échapper des Vietnamiens? Those women who had young babies or who were pregnant Réponse. were allowed to board uh, the military truck and made their way to the west direction. I myself was asked uh, to lend a support to have those women, pregnant women, and women with young babies on board uh, the truck. And from that point onward, I did not know what happened to those women. Après, je ne sais pas ce qui est arrivé and à did you, you, did you escape yourself? Question. Did you go to the west Et as well? Vous êtes évadé également vers l'ouest? I went along with other Réponse. people on the track. J'ai accompagné d'autres personnes à bord du camion. A military truck? Question. Était ce un camion militaire? Yes, it was a, a military truck which was given to the uh, Cambodian who worked at the airport. À so des qui uh, the truck was à used to transport those Le three people who uh, could not walk, for example, ceux qui pas à marcher, par exemple, to transport those pregnant women. Ou ces femmes enceintes. The fact that you were able Question. to flee the Vietnamese on a military Alors, truck, does that not imply that you are still a member of the Vision 502? Des Vietnamiens à bord euh, d'un camion militaire, euh, cela euh, impliquerait. Uh, Mr. President, peut-être que vous étiez encore membre de la division 502. Is basically an argument. I don't think that it's anything that the witness is going to be able to help us with. Je pense que cette question est un argument. Je ne pense pas que le témoin puisse nous aider là-dessus. Um, Mr. Mr. President, um, le Président, I know there is quite some testimony referred to in uh, secondary sources uh, that many soldiers were not very happy uh, with the fact that they um, were asked to do all kinds of things that they didn't consider to be military. And uh, maybe that is the same thing with this witness I'm trying to figure out whether her um, discontent with her tasks si, uh, didn't actually mean that she was discharged formally as a military. Euh, de ce qu'on lui demandait de le faire, mais ça ne voulait pas forcément dire qu'elle avait été, euh, euh, qu'elle n'était plus militaire. Yeah, Your Honor, I, I think it still amounts to an argument. Le I mean, the, the inference that he wants is that if she was on a military truck, she was therefore euh, still a soldier. She's already told us il, everything she can, I think, about what she knows about what her status as a soldier or not was at that time. A tout dit sur, euh, ses et ce pensait être son I still think I can ask the la question défense, um, whether she was même, still considered a Division 502 member, yes or no. And if the answer is no, then I'm si sure she'll be able to say so. Lui considérée comme une membre de la Division 502, elle peut répondre oui ou non. President, the National Political Lawyer for Civil Parties, you have the floor. National des Parties Civiles, vous avez la parole. But, um, I listened tentatively to the witness statement, and she said she was no longer a soldier. She used words to the effect that she thought that she was no longer a soldier, or that she made 
a conclusion that she was no longer a soldier, or that she was feeling that she was no longer a soldier. That what was that was went behind her mind, but she never said that she actually left the military. President, all the objections raised are not sustained and overruled. And the uh, council, you may specify that your question again to the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Madam Witness, you, you just testified that you escaped the Vietnamese by boarding a military truck. Um, having heard that, um, my question to you, to you was, were you, at the time that you boarded that military truck, still a member of Division 502? At that time, I was still attached to Division 502. Thank you, Madam Witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. President, le thank you, Council. It is now appropriate for our short break. We take a break Il now and resume at 10.30. Nous nous Court officer, please assist Monsieur the witness during the break time at the waiting room for civil parties and witnesses and usher her into the courtroom again at 10.30. The court is now in recess. Something, Clark Chow.